Hello and welcome to time series forecasting. In this video, I'm going to show you modeling procedure that you can use to build uh, ARIMA models. First thing that you do with any forecasting uh, data set is uh, you plot the data set, identify any unusual observation or any unusual patterns in the data set. This will also help you to identify various patterns in a time series and you can use uh, that information in your forecasting. In step two, you may need to take the box cox transformation to stabilize uh, your data set. And uh, from here on, you can follow two routes. The first route is uh, you can either use the auto arima function and use the automated uh, algorithm. And in this way, the computer will uh, choose uh, an appropriate model for you. And then you check the residual of uh, the model that you will get from uh, the auto arima function and uh, you look for various properties of uh, the residuals you see whether the residuals meet those uh, properties and if the residuals do not meet those properties you probably need to go back and look into your model and if your residuals are not white noise it means that uh, there was some information left over that should have been used uh, in building uh, the model and you need a better model and you can improve uh, your forecast accuracy by going back to your model and improving your model. So now if uh, your residuals look like white noise, you can go ahead and uh, you can uh, forecast uh, based on uh, the model that auto arima function will give you. This was the first route that you can take. On the other side, if uh, you decide to select your own model rather than relying on the auto arima function, the first step would be to make sure that uh, your time series is uh, stationary and if it is stationary you can move to step 4 if it is not stationary you can uh, make it uh, stationary by taking uh, the first difference or the second difference so after you have a stationary series look at the autocorrelation function and the partial autocorrelation function and uh, choose the value of uh, p and uh, q from uh, the acf and uh, pacf and then you will move to step 5 and uh, you will try your chosen model. You will also look in the neighborhood of your selected model to find uh, a better model. When you are satisfied with your model, you can see whether your residuals look like white noise. If those are white noise, then you can go ahead and uh, forecast based on that model. If uh, the residuals do not look like white noise, you have to look into the ACF and uh, PACF again and uh, try to tweak your model a little bit so that you can get a better forecast. So the idea here is uh, to make sure that uh, the residuals look like white noise. If the residuals are white noise, you can forecast based on whatever model you are using. Otherwise, there is a chance that you may improve uh, your forecast accuracy by making some changes in your model. So this is the algorithm that uh, you can use to build the ARIMA model. You can either use the automated algorithm or you can select the value of uh, P and Q yourself and then build your own model and then experiment uh, with the different models to find uh, the best model among uh, all those uh, models. And then based on it, you can uh, forecast. In the next video, I'll show you an example of uh, all these steps uh, in R. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.